What, what have we here? Hello, hyperspace. My name is Devontos, and it's time to get hyped because this is a new reskinned map we've got for Junkenstein's Halloween event, Junkenstein's Terror, whatever it was called, and it's actually Eichenwald. And if you come in here for the spawn, everybody's having a Halloween party because they have pretzels. And this map actually looks really great with this Halloween skin. Now, last year they gave us the redesigned Hollywood map, which was pretty cool looking. I liked it, but I think the Eichenwald redesigned map looks amazing. And there, it just fits this Halloween theme so well. And on top of that, it's remodeled after the Junkenstein's Revenge event. Well, Junkenstein's Revenge minigame. But anyway, it's just... The map looks amazing, so I'm actually going to skip a little bit of this countdown. They're basically, the spawn room looks exactly the same, except for the pretzels on the table and the little confetti and whatnot in the middle of the room. So let's actually skip this and start exploring. Excellent! So here we are right outside. So right off the bat, you notice that it's dark outside! It's nighttime! And I actually think Eichenwald looks better at night. I don't know, maybe it's because I feel like we need more nighttime maps. Isn't the only nighttime map uh, Li Zhang Tower? I'm not too sure, I think it is. But if you actually come to the houses, it looks very, very spoopy. You have spider webs and you have fog out in the distance, and it just fits the Halloween event so well! And in that down car is actually a wagon with some hay on it. You can actually stand on the hay, and that wagon actually provides a little more cover than the car did. There's a slight changes to the map, some fences here and there that can provide slightly more cover than the original Eichenwald map. There is a stray Lucio just wandering around the map, don't mind him. I just have him for an AI so I won't get kicked for inactivity. And then, well, here we are! It's raining as well, and I actually never noticed the rain until I was re-watching this video when I'm recording it right now. When I was playing it, I did not notice the rain. Rain. <laughs> so anyway, up in here, there, the, um, the animal heads were actually just replaced by antlers. This place looks like some kind of paranormal event went on because all the furniture is destroyed and you can't knock it down, as you saw. And there are still cobwebs everywhere! Animal bones, animal antlers, and this looks like it was kind of like repaired, I guess? Because in the original Eichenwald, it's just like down stone. Well, in this Halloween one, it's like down wood, but it looks like the wood boards were put up first and then something knocked it down. I'm not too sure. Well, here we are capturing the payload. The payload looks exactly the same, and we have a bloody, kind of like a bloody moon? Not really. It has a reddish tint to it. Not blood red, kind of like a reddish pinkish tint to that moon. So we're gonna capture the payload. Payload looks exactly the same. And the payload moves exactly the same, but I think it's just so cool, especially when you're approaching the castle. The castle is like this map's main attraction, so I actually get this payload moving. Give me your payload! And let's see what this map has. Oh, hello there, Bertie! The Berties actually explode when you shoot them. They explode into a big collage of feathers. So any anyway, um... The map actually has different music than the original Eichenwald. You guys know when you're playing Overwatch and you're like capturing the objective or scoring the payload, you have like that orchestra playing in the background to kind of like give your team some oomph, you know, trying to make it more intense. Well, they have that in this map, but it's a theme that sounds very, very similar to Junkenstein's Revenge. So they kind of tweaked up the music here, and then that castle is new. That castle in the distance isn't there in the original Eichenwald. It's probably there from Junkenstein's Revenge. I think it's the same one. And we can continue going. There is... Is there more ivy on the walls? It looks like there's more ivy on the walls. And on top of that, you have more wagons, more fireplaces. Not fireplaces, you know, wagons on fire. And it just looks amazing at night. I really hope they make some kind of Eichenwald castle-like map at night. And if you actually come down here, there's a dungeon. This over here is, well, a miniature dungeon, that little similar flank route, and then this is a reference to something. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure, you know, Blizzard always makes their references to things. That little paddle, golf club, pot, and axe is a reference to something. Probably The Walking Dead, I don't know. i never seen The Walking Dead. So let's actually continue on. And up here looks exactly the same, except for these fences. These little fences weren't in the original Eichenwald, and as you can see, they actually provide cover. Not really too big, but little minor cover you can take from like a far who's trying to flank and whatnot. So let's move on with the payload and see what else is here. Oh yeah, right, this room right here. This is exactly the same, they just added some, uh, spooky furniture. And other than that, everything in that room is exactly as it left it. Back to the picket fences, and back down to the payload! Hello, payload! And here is the castle. Check that out. That looks amazing! Get out of here, Lucio. That looks amazing! You have those little, uh, nudges with the electricity on it. I don't even know what those things are called. And just... I don't know, just the appearance of this castle at night with all the electricity and the rain, it just makes it really... really spooky. It really fits that Halloween theme. So let's actually fly over while the payload breaks down the door. Let me give you guys a little look into into the building. Let me, let me get up here. 
There we are. Hello, little birdie window. And then in here is actually like Junkenstein's headquarters, where he was making the Junkenstein's monster, or, or Roadhog. And, um... You have all of his little props, all these little machinery, all these little sciencey stuff. This mad scientist that Junkenstein is, he has all his gear lied all around in this place. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a look around. Some things are exactly the same, like the little what was it, World of Warcraft sword at the top? I'm not too sure. Let me. What was this World of Warcraft? I'm not too sure. Let me guys, let me know in the comments section below. What is this? This is a reference to something. But anyway, let's continue going back around and more of Junkenstein's props, his creepy and crazy machinery. This room looks like a little storage now. Before it was just all empty, and now it seems to be a little Junkenstein storage where he keeps all of his pots and all of his baggies and stuff that he doesn't need anymore. And then even the main throne room, where the throne used to be, where Baldrick, where Baldrick's armor was, they actually changed it. We're gonna go to look at that later. So, coming back down, these back flank routes are very, very foggy. And I really, really like it. Let me know in the comment section below, do you guys like the Halloween Junkenstein's remake of Eichenwald? Or do you like the original Eichenwald? Me, I love the remake. So coming up here, there, that's the electricity. Some more of his little props. And you saw that down there, didn't you? We'll see that a little later. So, let's move the payload! Giddy up, payload! We got much to see! And it's just so many things. You, you actually cannot get electrocuted by that lightning up there, but this... This is Roadhog, and yes, he's actually breathing if you look at it. And I'm pretty sure if you take Roadhog as a character, this Roadhog will probably still be there. I never tested it out, but yeah, he's indestructible, you do whatever you can to him and nothing happens. And it's just... I don't know, I really, really like it. I know I keep saying that, but this map is just so cool. Me, I really love, like, spooky Halloween-themed kind of, like, events and just scenery and how it looks autumn halloween just that kind of whole setting just just i love it and this map as you see, can see you know, roadhog's completely indestructible but just this whole thing it's just great so I, I really hope they keep this in custom games so we can at least you know hop in and play like they did with the uh what was it the hollywood version yeah it was really really cool so that's basically about it you just got some little more of uh junkenstein's props here and there electricity Lucio trying to interrupt and Ro Roadhog as the main attraction, so... Oh yeah, one more thing. If, I can't really show you here because I'm on the attacking side, but if you actually go in there, that is Junkenstein's, um... Basically like his office. You have like tables and maps and basically like a... I guess you can call it a, a blueprint on how to build Roadhog. I don't know what, what you call that, but... And that that's it. So if you like this video, punch that like button with a mighty force. You can follow me up on Twitter, at DevontosMan. And as always, I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a nice day! I love these Halloween thingies!